Hello there, my friends, and today I'm here with my new thrift related video. And this time, when I went to the thrift store, I wanted to make something a little bit different. And guess what? That's right, I took you with me. And in this video, I'm going to include clips from the thrift store that I made on Saturday. Plus, I'm going to tell you some of my thrift tips. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you mini haul with the things that I managed to find this time. Without further ado, let's just get started. And my first tip is have a plan. It's always better to have some particular things on your mind that you want to get than wandering around with no goals. At least that's how it works for me. Personally, I love to write all the things down. In this case, there is no way I will forget something. I am the person who always forgets something. So trust me, lists are everything. And it might be a list of things that you just realized you miss in your wardrobe. Or maybe you look through the pictures on internet or through the lookbooks on YouTube and you get inspired by some of the items you see. Just write down what you would like to find, what you would like to recreate. I'm sure you will find something close enough because that's a thrift store. My second tip is treat yourself. On winter I would always love to get some coffee before going to the thrift store. I really love this tradition of mine but at the same time it gets very very difficult after thrift store you know when coffee stops working and you feel just like shit if you don't want this to happen then treat yourself with something more healthy for example last time i brought some kombucha and energy chunks with me and they basically saved my life you might not get hungry in the thrift store but you will definitely spend a lot of energy there. So make sure you treat yourself. My third tip is take your time. If you are like me and you need time to make decisions, but your friends or spouse or whoever you are walking to the thrift store with are very fast, then come to the thrift store on your own to have the best experience. That's what I always love to do. My fourth tip is in cards I trust. Always take card. It might seem that you don't need one, but you will need one. It's always better to drive the card around than having to hold basket in one hand and look through the stuff with another, which almost is impossible for your arms. They get so tired. Even if you put basket on the floor, it's easier to drive cart around than always pick up the basket again. I tried it a lot of times with many different ways, but always carts win. And if you ended up taking coffee before, some carts actually have a spot where you can conveniently place your coffee. Isn't that awesome? That is! In some other thrift videos I heard that there are people who steal from cars. That thankfully didn't happen to me, but just make sure that you have your eyes on your card. My fifth, my fifth, my fifth, how many times can I say that? <laughs> my, fi God damn it. my fifth tip is trust your gut. If you feel that you like this thing, but you leave it in the thrift store for whatever stupid reason, this thing is probably going to haunt you. Of course, if it is uh, too small for you or has stains, holes or destroyed or damaged in any other way, then it's reasonable to leave it. But if you like it and you just don't know how to style it, then you should probably get it. Because even if you don't come up with the idea of outfit in the thrift store, you will most likely have it as soon as you get home. That's the worst feeling when you are like, I should have done that. Trust your gut. Thrift stores are perfect for experiments. Don't afraid to risk sometimes. My sixth tip is trying on is very important. It is in addition to the last tip and it sounds like don't get everything blindly. Always try to find time and try on things that you want to get. 
I am the person who just hates going to the fitting room and trying on a million things. And I can assure you, I regretted about this a million times. Because sometimes things look very nice and they might even fit, but you don't feel comfortable in it. And that probably means that you won't feel comfortable in this thing in the future. Usually that's how it works, at least for me. Your body, your gut will always tell you if you need this thing or if you should leave it there. But of course, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Always remember that that's just a thrift store. And my last tip for today, yours will wait for you. If you actually left something you loved behind, come back and try to find it. There is nothing wrong about that. If this thing is supposed to be yours, it's gonna wait for you there. And you will come and you will get it and it won't haunt you anymore. If it's not your thing, you might not find it. But it means that you can just let it go. That's how easy it is. Every time I film, people start flying in the airplanes. So these were my thrift tips and now I'm going to show you what I got really, really quick. My most favorite find this time was this dress which you have seen me trying on in the fitting room and it's pretty long it closes my knees and as you see it has a beautiful gradient from dark brown to a light beige color it just looks like a huge shirt basically material reminds me about really thick cotton it was actually not my size at all but as soon as i saw it I decided that with a belt it's going to look mwah, amazing. That's why I went to belt rack immediately and found this beautiful brown belt, which looks like this and it still has the hanger on it for whatever reason. I really love the color, it's perfect for this dress. I love this thing, all these patterns here. So this can be actually my very last tip. You can always find something to experiment with, even around thrift store. You look at this thing and it seems big. Go grab a belt and try it on with a belt. Maybe that's gonna work for you. Actually, this short I'm wearing today is also from my Saturday's haul. I got it because I really wanted some kind of white short for a long time. But I usually totally hate white shirts. They look ridiculous on me. But this one, I really like the way it looks. This collar is so beautiful. It looks the same way here on sleeves. I already wore it when I had to go and check out new apartment. So I kind of wanted to look, you know, more official, more like a human being, less like a hobo. I think this shirt is perfect for this kind of occasions because I looked like on 100% and I'm pretty sure that I made a good impression. And I really like the way it looks with these things, which I forgot how are they called, but I think it looks really interesting. Next thing I found was this top which is impossible to show you properly. I wasn't really sure if I want to get it or not. I just know that now it's kind of stylish to wear tops that look kind of like lingerie. I still don't understand how people wear them. I would feel totally naked wearing this kind of top, but I really like this one because it is made from another kind of material, just very light. This second layer kind of hints to your lingerie, but it's not really making you feel naked. It might be a good piece for summer and warm spring. I also got this jacket, which is really huge. I love the color. I love the texture. It's also very soft. That's basically the main reason why I didn't leave it behind. I just want to do this all day. I thought it's gonna be nice to have a jacket which is not as warm as leather jacket and still not very light. It's kind of for this time when spring didn't decide yet if it's coming or if it's not coming and the weather is like in between so you don't know what to do with yourself. That's the jacket for that jacket of spring doubts. 
sell a lot of sporadic name. I also found cute shoes which look like this. I fell in love with their cream color and with their pattern. I think they look so pretty and that's actually Clarks brand which is pretty pricey. I have sandals from them but only because they were on a huge discount. The only thing I don't like about the shoes is that they are a little bit bigger than it should be. I just always look through several sizes because different brands have a little bit different measurements. I looked through eight and a half and I found them there and I actually wear seven and a half. They are not that big like it might sound. They actually feel very comfortable. And I thought that with high socks in spring, it might be really interesting look. I also got this cute frame because I really want to have an actual pictures printed around me. And I want to collect different beautiful frames to put them in. I really like that you don't have to cut photo in this shape to use this frame. It is still rectangular shape. Uh, shape. It is still rectangular shape on the back can't wait to print a suitable photo and put it here. I also looked through jewelry very quick and found this beautiful Camille. I've never seen Camille like that and I actually love them a lot, but this one seemed very unique for me. The chair is very short, so it lies down on this place in your neck. I'm not sure if it has a name, but you know, it's kind of like a perfect place for a pendant. It has a beautiful pattern on the background and then there is a tiny tiny brown camille plus there is a tiny tiny locket where you can put your tiny tiny photos last clothing item i got was this sweater which i can't really call a sweater because it's very light it's perfect for spring and it was actually brand new it still had original tag on it so it is from faded glory and I actually saved a tag to tell you the right name of this sweater. It is called Cowl Neck Sweater or Cowl Neck. I always don't know how this neck is called. I usually call it like wrong turtleneck. They also wrote that it's a camel color, but come on. I like oatmeal better. It's kind of tasty. Camels are not that tasty. I also like the knitting very much. It's not just like some kind of regular braids. It's something more intriguing. So these were all the things I found this time and I got pretty much everything I tried on in the fitting room. So I don't really make try-ons because you've seen me in the actual fitting room wearing these things. I hope you enjoyed this format of the video. I will try to take you with me more often and hopefully next time I will have more opportunity to film because this Saturday there were so many people in the thrift store that it was just ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to put likes, click subscribe button and leave me comments down below. I will see you in my next video very very soon. Thank you so very much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!